Take it away, Brian. That's such a stupid way to start the show. <laughs> Take it away, Mark. Ho, 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 motherfuckers. Yeah, it is that time again. It's Thursday evening, and you know what it means. It means our guest is fucking up the intro. We're starting late. He's making noise. Welcome to episode, gay episode 87 of the Vape Team. And, yeah, we got a show for you. With me, as always, the man with the master plan, the king of the lair, Cloud King 2016, 2015, 2014, Mikey, motherfucking vapes. Hello, everybody. <laughs> humble <laughs> in, his, in, his, in his victories and humble in his chair right now. Hi, Mike. Hi. What's going on, guys? So how's the... Oh, I forgot. Sorry. Uh, our guest, Mark Fappen Vegan. Como esta, papa? See? 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 That cup is not nearly big enough for you. Thank you. It's not. What, what is that? What are you doing? What's going on there? This is coffee and a Christmas cup. I'm in a holiday spirit, in case you haven't noticed. Ho, ho, ho. You look like you're in the holiday spirit. I reckon I am. Why don't you start off the show tonight by telling the uh, viewers out there, and by the way, happy holidays to everybody watching from around the world. No, it's um, no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. It's Merry Christmas. It's not Happy Holidays. It's the holiday season for no. lots of different people, Mark. Don't be fucking... No, it's Merry this, Christmas. You're a guest, and it's going to be Happy Holidays. We're not going to do Happy Holidays. We can say Happy Hanukkah. We can say Happy Holidays. We can say Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa. There's other people besides your selfish little room that you live in. <laughs> All right, so you be conservative and I'll be liberal, and then that's how it goes. That's why we're on this show together. <laughs> yeah, oh, Lord, it's starting. Mark's like takes out a gun. He's like, "Fucking Merry Christmas!" <laughs> if you don't believe in Christ, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, Mike Vapes, hi. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? Mark's starting to get a little edgy. I think. You gotta be careful with Mark. Yep. I'm on the edge right now. Yeah. Speaking of on the edge, is there anyone, anybody you want to shout out in particular, Brian, tonight? I'd like to shout out Victoria. Uh, hi, Victoria. Nice. Victoria's secret? Yep. It's a secret, as Mark puts it. I'd also like to shout out uh, iJoy for your joy tonight. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> How do you say uh, your name? Victoria McLaverty? Jam coils. Yo, I have jam coils right now running in my Kennedy. They're they're dope coils, man. Well, I'm about to, during the show, I'm going to put a build in uh, my two vape techs RDA right here. Oh, look at that beauty, huh? That's fucking sexy. Look how deep that well is. Yeah. Very nice. Look at the what? Shut up. 2VX. That's what it is, actually. The 2VX RDA. Pretty nice. I'm going to do... Actually, I'm going to throw in some uh these coils here. This is the GM coils. It's for a series. It's basically a series fused Clapton's 0.4 resistance. And I'm going to run it on the Titan SE, the series Titan. So... Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. Can we put on some Christmas music and just stay in your up close and I'll go get like <laughs> hot chocolate? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. I would love to. Mark, get the Christmas music going. Speaking of Christmas music, that would actually would have been a good idea if you would have told me ahead of time that would have been a good idea. Well, you said you were in a Christmas spirit. You should have thought of that. Yeah, be be proactive, Mark. But would we sakes. would we violate some kind of copyright or something playing like a Christmas song? Oh yeah, right. Oh, oh shit. You could grab your guitar and play a Christmas song on the guitar. <laughs> Little drummer boy? Sing a Nickelback Christmas. <laughs> Nickelback Christmas. Let's not get started. Mark is so fucking gay. Likes to say hey. You want to talk to us about Victoria a little bit, uh, Brian? He's, he's fucked a couple of dudes. <laughs> in. <laughs> uh Speaking of the two vape decks RDA, they are actually going to be giving away a two vape decks RDA tonight on the show. 
I got contacted by Anderson and uh, he was gracious enough to say for the holiday season, uh, we're going to do a giveaway. So stay tuned to the show before the end of it. I'll announce how you can win a brand new two vape decks, RDA two V X two vape decks, RDA. Yep, and, uh, you, you can check them out at two vape decks.com. That's how I did my build Mark, uh, Mike. Yeah, it's, that's what's nice about it. You have flexibility. Of, you could use just the bottom holes. You could use the top of these clamps. You could use it like the way you would do like a velocity, basically, you know, using the top clamp and then the bottom lead into the hole. So that's the way I'm going to run my series. Yep. Yeah. Isn't, that, isn't the machining awesome on that? Yeah, this it's it's immaculate, man. Yeah, it is. RCA is immaculate. They did a good job with this one. I would have to say it's elite, and I'll tell you why. That's oh, why. My camera's not. It is. <laughs> you can't even see it. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, man. I. Oh. It's that elite lighting you got in that room. There we go. Now, do you see <laughs> that? See my thumb right there? Do you see the hole in my thumb? See that hole? You got a hole in your or thumb? See the oh, hole in my thumb right there? Oh, what is that from? Uh, a wire? <laughs> no, that is that is from the pirate ship RTA. The the wheel that spins to lock your leads down. Oh, dude, come on, man! I know. <laughs> this is what you need to use. You have this tool on your coil master kit, right? I know, I do. Yes. This is you got to use something like this. That wheel the fucks up your the fuck up your hands. Plus, you can't even get it tight with that. I don't. I think I think that's gonna stay that way forever. You know? So I might have a permanent hole in my thumb. It looks nice, actually. Gives it's nice a character. Yeah. Sprinkle some bath salt on it. You'll be fine. Yeah, somebody said I have the shakes. Um, yeah, so the two vape decks. This is actually sitting on the brand new Black Therion 166. Look at that sexy son of a biatch. Ugh. You like it, Black? So, yeah, tonight... We're going to be uh, talking about 2016. We're going to be talking about 2017. We're going to be talking about Mike's build on the 2.8 Dex RDA. Now, get... a lot of people, Mike, have been talking about that build deck looks familiar. And why don't you tell them why it does? Well, basically, the makers of uh, the guy that's producing this RDA for 2.8 uh, Dex had an RDA that was out in June, if I'm not mistaken which was uh, this one right here. The Barador. The Barador. The Barador. But this one here, the airflow on this was just garbage. Yep. The quality of RDA was nice. Yep. Machining, everything. The airflow was just horrendous. But let me show you the build deck on here. Uh, let's see. I need something here. Where's my stand? There we go. There we go. Same style build deck, except a little beefier on the new version. Yeah, it's a little wider. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm really glad because the airflow on this one, on the 2 vape Dex version, is so fucking good compared to that other one. Yeah, it's nice that it has uh, adjustable airflow on it. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, uh, yeah. I uh, can't wait to vape this thing. I yeah. can't wait to you vape it. We're going to vape together. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. Yep, yep. So as we're sitting here, why don't what is it, Mark, while you're doing your build, Mike? Why don't we have Mark start a little uh, what he's vaping on? Okay, Mike. I... Hold, on, hold on one second, Mark. You know... Can, you do it? Can you do it in the voice of your uh, Chinese Santa Claus? Oh, man, that'd be too hard to do all that in China Santa Claus's voice. All right. Spell sarcophagus. Uh, sarcophagus. Khalid. C-I-R. C-A-U-S. I give up. You got it. Good job. Thank Go you. ahead. Who are you vaping? Vaping on this uh, Segeli. I want to say Yihi. We No, I'm sorry. Wee Segeli Wee something like 218. 
Look how it beautifully lines up in the center with that 510 with that 30 millimeter mod father. On top there, inside the mod father, I got some of the strawberry donut from Mr. Joe Turner himself. Joe. Joe Joe. The Mix 150 from Artery Vapor with the Apocalypse RDA. Inside there, I have some of this. I don't even know who set this stuff. Um, it's called Monster Milk from Puff Monster. No idea. I have to look at the envelope, see who sent that. It was a monster milk. The Puff Monster. Um, the Hero Tank on top, the Solo V2 from iJoy. Shabam Shaboom. On top, inside there, I got some uh, straight out of the motherfucking toaster. And then the Sigeli uh, T200 Touch, which is kind of still a flop. And uh, on top there, this sub -ohm tank from UD. I forgot the name of it. Inside there, I believe I had the um, some of Mr. No idea who makes this juice. Elite, Elite. Yeah, it comes from a guy named Elite. Elite Strawberry. Thank you. I think it's Italian. It's Italian. Elite. Elite. Okay, it's Puerto Rican. Nice. Yeah, you can pick that up actually at www. Elite as fucking fuck dot com. Oh, Elite. speaking of websites, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> and I just go ahead, Mike. Go ahead. I do have my black theory on just sitting here for show with this gold RDA from. Um, wow, that brown black gold looks really sexy. I like it. <laughs> I like it brown and black. There we go. <laughs> Fucking Mark. Uh, you guys hear about my new website I got? I would love to hear about it. EliteAsFuck.com Really? Yep. <laughs> Congratulations on that. How did you get that website? Because that seems quite similar to the Elite as Fuck that I use on mine. Well, I was trying to get EliteAsFuckityFuckFuckFuck.com but someone took it. Some guy <laughs> named Brian. So I saw Elite as Fuck was available. Hmm. How about tvcelite.com? I think that's already taken, isn't it? Hell yeah. Uh, who's doing buffets here? I don't know. I, I was going oh, to Elite. You're next. Brian. Brian. It's your next. Yeah. It's all you, next. brother. You realize we're 30 minutes into the show. We're not even through the buffets yet. It's the holiday special. Yes. <laughs> Extra 10 minutes. According to Mark, it's <laughs> only for Christians, obviously. <laughs> God, I didn't know. No, I hate when I go somewhere and I walk in and someone says, Happy Holidays. I'm like, no, it's Merry Christmas. Thank you. No, it's not. They don't have to celebrate Christmas. Well, you still say Merry Christmas. You can say whatever you want. You can say Merry Christmas to everybody, but they don't have to. There's other holidays, right? Yeah. What are going on? I understand if you're not allowed to say it, that's wrong, but they don't have to say it. It's Merry Christmas. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so what am I vaping? <laughs> I'm vaping on the Blazer 200 watt mod from Sense Sigrate. 200 watts, triple 18 sex 50. Sex? Yep. I don't even know. There we go. Triple 18 sex 50. There's the little uh, screen on the side, the up and down buttons. There we go. Mm -hmm. And check this shit out. This this is pretty dope. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. And then boom, like a toilet seat. <laughs> oh, it's that shit. And the cool thing is when you push it down, it's got a little gasket. So you just drop the toilet seat and then you just spin it a little bit. Does it flush? Uh, yeah. Well, no, I just missed the lock. You have to push it down so it pushes the little O-ring inside down and then it's good. But that's 200 watts. And uh, let's vape it, shall we? Oh, I'm vaping banana bondage from Midori Liquid. Boom. So let's let's take a pull. Let's take a pull. Boom, shalak, shalak, boom. Two hundred watts vaping pleasure. Um, yes, Victoria. Brian did shout you out earlier. 
Um, if you missed the shout out, you can give him a call later after the show. Thanks, Mark. Shut up. Uh, yeah. So there's the Blazer 200 watt kit, and uh, that's the that that this sub ohm tank is something special, man. I love it. It's really good. It's a 0.2 ohm coil in there, and they also have a ceramic coil that is I haven't tested it yet. Um, I'm also vaping on the Theory 166 Black Edition with the two vape decks RDA and it on the uh, two vape decks RDA. My build, and uh, you can't really see it, but uh, I should just take pictures of shit before the show. There we go, caterpillars. Caterpillar. Yeah, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Here we go. But it chucks, man. Flavor's really good. Build deck's nice and easy to build on. Love it. Are you doing a re review right now? I'm That's getting them out of the way. Oh, right. Thank you, Mike. I'm thinking. <laughs> the Wismac, <laughs> the Wismac, uh Noisy Cricket version 2 with the Kennedy on there. They've been that, loving that setup. And last but certainly not least, the Wotofo, uh, the little tiny Wotofo uh, Conqueror Mini. Awesome, awesome uh, little tank. With the Minikin from Asmodos version two. And, and also, since our last show, I just want to announce that uh, Hood and Pounder is ready for sale. It's available right now on TVCElite.com and EliteAsFuckingFuck.com, AdoreEliquid.com. Concentrates regular and it's in stock right now. So thank you. TVCElite.com. Oh, my God. fuckity fuck? Was that it? Elitistfuck.com. And that's an Elitist actual fuck. website. No, I'm too. sorry. No, it's that's mine. Yeah, sure. sure. It's, it's elitistfuckingfuck.com. Yeah, hopefully. Why we not just do elitistfuck.com? Because Phenom. No, he took it. He took the website after you did yours. I know, but I, I like elitist fucking fuck because it's even more fucking fuck than fuck. We have a comment in chat. Uh, TVC, please make your cameras elite. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I try my best. Uh, my best is not good enough. Speaking of that, look at that little fireplace shot. Isn't that pretty? Looks hot. It is warm. My nuts roasting on an open fire. What did you say? Your nuts are roasting? Yes. Jack Frost nipping at my nose. Tiny tops. Oh. You, that's copyright infringement. Stop. Sorry. Anyway, Mark, how Mark? you doing? You getting sweat in your armpits? No, I got an itch in my armpit. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Brian, yeah. actually, what he's trying to say to you is to do your buffet. I just did my Where? buffet. Where are you at? He <laughs> I know. <laughs> Show's almost over. Uh, my turn? Yeah. Yes, it's your turn. Let's. All right. I'm my... Vaping on a Boxer 167 with the Bellis 25 millimeter RTA. Therion 167 Reload RDA. Reload. Castigator OBS Engine. Engine. Boss 3000 with the Navigator BX RTA. Navigator. Uh, <laughs> that's a solo oh, V2. No, that is the, the blazer uh, oh, with the blazer. Uh, blazer tank right the here. The Chevy Blazer. The Chevy Blazer. Uh, juices I'm vaping on is uh, Mr. Cannoli, EDS All Day Strawberry, Yogurt's Blackberry, Dinner Lady Ross Puddin. And some Joe Turner raspberry custard. Raspberry custard from Joe. Now, is that I might be forgetting one liquid, but anyway. And I'm also, for the finale, going to be vaping on the Titan SC with the 2VX RDA. I'm putting my cotton in right now. Getting it ready, baby. Can you dive down and let's see? What do you want to see? The cotton? Yeah. Oh, okay. You want to see my technique? Yes. Now is that the blazer or the brazer? Just to be a brazer. <laughs> I know what you're getting at. 
Hashtag Pornhub. <laughs> Boom. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck it, Mark. You're a classic, brother. <laughs> so, don't be staring at my camera. Yeah, Brian, what we are you doing? Actually, we can actually see builds on your camera. By the way, ST says happy holidays with a postcard behind me. Happy holidays. Do you guys get anything uh, interesting? Uh, some interesting vape mail. Tell us about. Uh, actually, you know what I want to hear. I want to hear Mark. Uh, that iJoy Solo Mini. I haven't put batteries on mine yet, but is it the same concept with the Solo, the original, the taste thing, function, all that? I um, I think it does have that option. I haven't really gotten too deep into it. I just got it today and screwed my atomizer on. Uh huh. But it's much better than the uh, a Solo or whatever it was called, the original. I can tell you that. All right. But I, I do believe it has that taste uh, function, but I haven't tried it yet. So what are your thoughts on uh, that device so far? Love it. So far, love it. It's got the same firing switch as the uh, RDTA box. Yep. It's kind of the same screen. It's almost like the RDTA, RDTA box without the tank inside. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I opened the mine. I saw the device, and... Uh, Actually, I opened up the white one that I have, and uh, right when I looked at it, I said to myself, "Wow, that's the uh, RDTA box mod, almost same concept with the batteries being installed in there too." Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, there we go. We got a uh, five dollar donation from uh, Mr. Clint Lupe. It says, "Brian, this is for your new cam and lights." Awesome, thank you, Clint Lu Motherfucking Lupe. Motherfucking Lupe. Loop, 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 eh? Everybody's right. just killing the chat right now about the RX 300. That that photo of the attachment screwed on the charger cell phone is so gimmicky. You guys want to see the RX 300? I could show it. I'd love you to show it. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Mark? <laughs> I want to see what he pulls out. By the way, uh, Merry Christmas, Mark. Merry Christmas, Brian. And, Available and, at hitthatjuice.com. Mm. Can I get hit that coils at hitthatjuice.com? Yes, you can. Hmm. What juice am I going to put in here? I think I'm going to do some Mr. Cannoli in here, too. Mr. Cannoli. I think I want to hit Mr. Cannoli on series. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mark, why won't you? Oh, that's something different. Well, uh, let's see, Joseph. So we got some some troll action going on here tonight. Do we have troll action? Oh, there's an individual by the name of I think it was Michael. Let's see yeah. Where Who's? Oh yeah, Mike Elmstrong. My boss three thousand has three flaws, and they don't even reply to my reply to me. What What about the great customer service? Well, what are the three flaws that you're complaining about? And maybe we can help you. Yeah, what you can do actually is uh, send Mark Fagan a email or a, a message on his Facebook, and he'll get in contact with Vaporize Nomads for you and handle everything. Talk about service. Service with a smile. Everybody contact Mark for everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. She's cooking. You can open up the bottom uh, only, Mike. Yeah, I'm just going to do bottom airflow. Yeah, that's good that way. Beautiful. Fishy, don't start that. Do not start that. I was under the assumption that the term Rolo had to do with three sides. I could have sworn that the new Rolo is four batteries and it's squared off. Is that true? Well, you got to remember something, too. How about the Cuboid, the new one? That's not a cube. That's true. They're just capitalizing off the name, and that's what they're doing. Yeah, that's they're true. Gonna, they're going to wear it out. It's like not another vape show. Well, it sort of is another vape show. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it sort of is. Speaking of that, where are we at uh, on the voting system for the vape team, on the uh, the vape, the vote vape? 
whatever, whatever. Still at number two? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'll bring – I already have that up, actually. You probably watch it all day long and refresh I do. I, I'm upset by it because – we get thousands and thousands and thousands of viewers every single week on this show. And all we need you to do is simply vote for the show that you think is the best. Um, there's a lot of categories. You don't have to vote for the vape team in all the categories. Um, Mark's in a lot of categories, not another vape show, the vape team. Um, there's just Daniel's in them, Adore E-Liquid for best E-Liquid, uh, Hit That Juice. I mean, there's tons of awesome companies and awesome products right now. But – one that I care about that I've been watching is this one category best vape show. Now you'll notice here that there's the little thing called the vape team. We only have 255 votes. There's more than that watching the show right now. How many people are watching right now, Mark? 380. Uh, there you go. Okay. So there's 380 people watching and we only have 255 votes. Something's wrong there. Okay. Mod envy Vaping Underground Live has 374 votes, okay? I don't understand that. Well, from, I mean, from what I heard, that they're offering some type of giveaway for people. Is that true or is that hearsay? Because I don't want to I don't want to start rumors. I haven't heard it, but that's what I've heard. Okay, so I don't so know. we're going to assume that's not true unless we actually have proof of that. But see, I've watched their show a few times, and they don't get that many viewers, so I don't see where all those numbers are coming from, but I don't know. Well, I think I Vaping think... Underground is pretty big. Uh, there's a lot of people on that forum. I would be happy asked. with any. I would be happy with third place. I wouldn't complain. Second place is good. Yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, if you get a chance, go to guidetovaping.com and vote, and you can actually pick your favorites for the year. And one of them would be best vape show. But you can also take a look down here at boom, best vape channel overall, and check this out. Maybe Underground is beating Mike Vapes for best YouTube channel. <laughs> that's <laughs> oh my God. That makes me want to fall over and have a heart attack. Yeah, that's not. That's I terrible. think the more hilarious thing is that I'm in the top three. <laughs> I mean, Vape and Fagan. Uh, now, the good news is Vape and Fagan actually has more than just 124 because if you go down here, um, there's other sections with him written. Where? I don't oh, you gotta know. go lower. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was it this one? I think it was under the. Yeah, maybe it was the other one. The other one, not this one. Yeah. I think it was the one with the the, the show. Yeah. So here's the problem. So vote vote for Mike Vapes best uh, vape channel overall. The only one that actually seems really accurate is this right here. DJ LSB, our boy Daniel. Definitely the best technical show on uh, vaping on YouTube, and he has 915 votes. It's a landslide victory, and he deserves it. So there you go. And when you go up to here, best channel for entertainment. Uh, Convicted Vapes is number three. Vaping Underground is once again on there with 367, and Grim Green is number one. If we come down, come and click this, come. notice there's a little somebody called the Vape Team, which is peaking, and Mike Vapes right here and vape and fagin so there's a lot of we could see a one two three win here that would be pretty awesome you know what i'm saying so check that out guys and then you also have the srdta best rta best sub tank clearizer and all that and i think we're actually going to wait to do our best of 2016s um for the uh new year's special what do you guys think of that Sounds new, like a bringing in the new year with the vape team, best of 2016. Bring it in, baby. Dude, this series build fucking violent as fuck. Is it? Yeah, this RDA is fucking badass. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I'm taking little fucking pulls and <laughs> there's no potentiometer on that, right? That's just straight up. Yeah, straight up series. I like that. What was the build resistance again? Point uh, four four. Fuse Clapton's. Yep, GM coils, baby. Flavor's really good too. Much better than that Barador, don't you think? Like what's that? Thank you, Chris. Much better flavor. Much better flavor than the Barador. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Well, it's awesome. I could cut the airflow down. The Barrador, that airflow was just... <laughs> it was the Eye of Sauron, man. Oh, uh... Phenom wants me to tell everybody that my... my actually, no. Uh, well, there's a beta open right now for the new Vaporium website. It's called vapefam.net. So the sign-ups if you want to check out the beta for the new uh, website. Vapefam.net. Yeah, I'm a member. Fam.net. F A M. Oh, Donnie, Donnie Burton caught it, huh, Don? You caught it. What? My buffet. You were listening. Yes. Uh, there we go. I got a, actually a beta version of. Uh, it does not come with that drip tip of the Bellus. This is the Bellus 25 millimeter. Holds five mLs of liquid. I'm just testing it out for them, giving them feedback. Uh, but uh, the vape is fucking awesome. The good old Bellis. Vaping the Bellis with the fellows. Remember how the original Bellis, that opening for the airflow, was just a tiny opening and people were using Dremels and, and Dremeling it out? This one here, it's nice big opening in there. Adjustable airflow. Uh... No juice flow control, but I haven't had no leaking or nothing. Top fill. Airflow is pretty smooth on here. Very nice airflow. Um, the bound soul. Yes, there will be an app for the new Vaporium. It's not, from what I heard, there's going to be an app. It's not ready yet, but there will be an app. That's angry. Angry. What? Do you know what that ohms out at? Or are you just? He said uh, 0.46, I believe. Oh, okay. 0.44. In four four, yeah. Hell yeah! How much is uh? I haven't looked on the site. What is it selling for? This RDA. Let me take a look. I will find out. Yes. I'm gonna head over to two vapedex.com. Yes, mighty vibes. Yes, Matty vibes. Yes, Matt vibes. www.2vaped x.com you type with one finger or two mark shut up <laughs> you're so full of hate during this holiday season you want to say merry christmas but you'll stab somebody in the back with a candy cane <laughs> you'd like to give some christmas cock christmas cock okay so here we go do, 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 do. So I'm going to share this. Uh, roast beef cartons, I would just sign off. I'm also falling asleep. So yeah. There's a dude in chat named Roast Beef Curtains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. Two it comes in black currently, but he's also going to have other colors. I saw a whole bunch of colors that were being made for it. And here's a little up close of the build deck. Mike's already done that better with his camera than mine. And let's see, 24 millimeter outside diameter, four millimeter deep juice well, dual build option, clamp type, three millimeter post holes, Delrin wide board, drip tip 304, stainless steel deck with also, uh, positive, brass positive post clamps and screws, copper positive pin, comes in a mason jar, serialized, and there you go. And the price is $84.99. There you go. Yo, I'm digging this fucking jar. Good touch. Yeah, the, I like the jar too. The mason jar. Yep. Feel free so, to stop screen order, sharing. In there order to go. win one of these, what you need to do is you need to comment in the replay of this show uh, in the comment section. Well, first of all, you need to like this this show, and you need to comment in the comment section. Life is a cloud. Vape hard. Life is a cloud. Vape hard. And next week, on the next week's show, we're going to pick a winner, and you're going to get a free RDA Wait, from Two Vape Decks. Life is hard, vape like a cloud? Yes, Mark. No, life is a cloud, <laughs> vape hard. Dude, how about the paint on this RDA? The black on here. It's beautiful. Oh, awesome the paint job on this thing. Yep. It's definitely pretty. I was like it. Marcus soft like a cloud. Gape hard. 
keep it hard. Yeah. Mm, I'm just reading chat tonight. That's what I'm doing. I'm not even paying attention to you guys. I can tell that. Yep. Uh, so what do you guys think of the RX? The new one. Uh, I saw pictures of it. Yeah. How many uh, watts is that RX? 300. 350, I thought, wasn't it? Someone had mentioned 400 watts. I was like, what? Oh, I thought it was 300. Uh, that's I don't know. Hold on, let me check. I have a picture on my phone. I don't know if they're seeing that cell phone screwed into it. I'm like, oh, geez. Really? Like, are we going to do this? Are going to put a flashlight on it and a utility knife? They have a little... There's a spoon that pops out from the battery compartment so you can eat your cereal in case you don't have a spoon on you. Are you serious? They actually added that <laughs> option? <laughs> Okay, so it's uh, 300 watts of maximum power, four removable 18650s. It has a brand new interface with a separate battery bars for all batteries. So there's four battery bars, upgradable firmware and multi-protection systems, fashionable colors with changeable stickers, which I fucking hate for your preferences. So to break it down, all they did was throw in an extra battery and put in an extra battery indicator on the screen. And stickers. Stickers. Oh, oh shit. The fuck They're not luggy stickers. stickers. They're not that level. Damn. Stickers. That's all I had to say was stickers. I'm I'm it's that's it. It's good as gold. Yep. So yeah, that should be coming out. And what about this fucking thing? Did you guys see what is this? The Smoant. That thing looks cool. I don't know what the hell it is. But it looks cool looking. That yep. Clear looking box. Like they say it's a mechanical box. I don't see how it's mechanical, but it looks fucking awesome. It's uh got a light bulb built in there. Thirty three hundred oh, milliamp hour battery built in. Yeah, that thing looks cool. It's definitely neat looking, uh the raw box or ray box. It's not very powerful though. Did you look at the power? No. I think it's eighty watts. What well, they said mechanical mod, so what, how would I have it power rating? I don't know. Well, yeah, maybe that's just Fast Tech's advertisement of it. Oh, you're on Fast Tech looking at it? It does look cool, though. It looks like a... Yeah, it does look really cool. Yeah, Mike, you reposted a picture of it. Yeah, I'll tell you right now. Uh, unique. It's a mechanical mod. That's what it is. Uh, it's na nano waterproof... Are oh, they calling it NAMO? I think that's a anyway. Nano waterproof technology coated over RA box or RA box PCB to greatly prevent water damage. Well, let's let's be correct. Thirty three hundred milliamp hour battery, micro USB port, battery indicator light in green, blue, red color. It's not Real mechanical. Long. It's unregulated. Yeah. Because yeah, I don't have the hell. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't. I can't tell by the inside if there's wiring in there. But it's got a PCB, right? That's, yeah. Is that what I said? If it's got a lipo. Yeah, it's, it's definitely. Yeah, it's an unregulated box spot. Yeah. It's pretty dope looking. It does look cool. Where Michelle wants to know where does she vote, Brian? Where she can vote, she can vote at guide to vaping dot com. Backslash 2016, backslash 12. Just go Guide to Vaping, best of 2016, and you can vote there. Where's Greg with the with the link? Yeah, Greg, put a link in chat for it. How about that? You know what? I can do that. Shit. Why don't I do that? You could do it? Yeah. Why not? Why not? I'm going to do it right now. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it well. Yes, we might see another shower review. It's waterproof. Hell yeah. I would love that too. Maybe we can do a bath, like so a bathtub, go underwater with it. So I can't put a, a real link in chat, though, right? If you got Who's a link, yeah, you sh should be able to. Yeah. Oh man, dude, I'm, I'm loving this fucking black on this theory. On it took them forever, huh? Yeah. Finally. But oh, that's nice. the results page. You have to vote actually on the vote page. Why am I in the results? No, page? I mean they'll. If they didn't vote yet, though, it won't be the results page. Oh, okay. It'll be there the voting go. page. There we go. 
Do you guys know when the Heaven's Gifts is shipping the Karma Kits? I had heard the 5th and they had priority. I ordered it on the 30th and it looks like it hasn't been shipped yet. Uh, Martin, did you send them an email just to ask them? I would send them an email and ask them. How about that H cigar? VT250. Yeah, that looks cool too. Huh? <laughs> that thing looks fucking badass. That and the other one, what's the one by Fumi or not Fumi? Uh, Think Vape. Think Vape, there you go. Yeah. Here's the uh, Smo Ant Raw Box for everybody to see. It sort of looks like the frame of a motorcycle or something. You know? Yeah. It's I don't know. big. I don't know why, but when I went on their Facebook page and I've seen it, I thought it was a computer case. <laughs> it's got a fuse. Look at the fuse right there, too. I know. It's almost so different. It's kind of it's really cool looking. I Look, just want a shelf piece. I can stare at it. You can fucking power your house when the power goes out. It looks like a fucking generator. Yeah. But look at these. They kind of stick out. And look at the plexiglass. It looks like. Looks like a fucking uh, computer. Is that an on off home. switch? I don't know. That might be a light or an on and off switch or. There's the little BB button for firing. I don't know about the BB button. Yeah. They have this huge mod with all this like edgy shit and then they have a little BB. Yeah. I would have liked to seen a fucking like a MyTech on it. Wow. That's what the, disappointing. So it says this mod Robox is a uniquely shaped mod that will stand out from the crowd. That's definite. It's a high end, high end mechanical mod with extremely high power for massive cloud. The transparent craft enables you to see everything inside. Add the waterproof PCB ensures normal function in bad condition. Robox has a built-in 3,300 milliamp hour capacity battery to sustain long-time vaping and can reach 80 watt maximum power output. Oh, That's... you vape long time! 80 watts only. That's what it says. It looks like it goes supporting resistance ranges from 0.1 to 5 ohms. Oh, yeah, because uh, I vape at 5 ohms. It only goes to 5 volts. It sounds yeah. like a disappointment. It looks cool, but I don't know. Who knows? Tear it apart. High soft modes to adjust. I don't know, guys. I don't know. We'll see. I wonder if there's any discussions. How is this a mechanical mod? Let's find out what they're saying here. Exactly. Wrong label. Uh, yeah, Fast Tech uh, department doesn't know the difference between mechanical mod and unregulated mod, nor does the party that supplies it to Fast Tech. Designers went all out on this one. Toggle switch and all. LOL. Just, <laughs> I love reading. <laughs> just to clarify, if if a device has a wire anywhere inside of it or a chip or a light or anything, it's not a mechanical mod. It has to be all mechanical moving parts. Also to clarify, if Mark Fagan sees you on the street and says Merry Christmas to you, you're required to say Merry Christmas back to him. What do you say? Do you say Merry Christmas or do you say Happy Holidays? Oh, I say Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you talk? Do you do anything? Why are you kissing Asian Santa? Do I don't a, know. Do you have a penis? No, you <laughs> don't. Fucking nuts, bro. You That's don't true. have one. Check him for a bean. No penis, no bean, no butthole, nothing. Not even a back door. Tongue punch the back door. What a disgrace. You want to go down? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Santa! Oh, you got teeth! Oh, Jesus, Santa! No, not would before. you like? Would you like to fuck Beaker? <laughs> We're live. Me, 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 me. Wait till after the show. <laughs> Is that acrylic? What? The <laughs> Here we go again. Oh shit, <laughs> dude! I've had over a hundred people ask me about the drip tip on all my videos. This commenting. Everyone okay. wants to know where to get a good drip tip for the OBS engine. No, uh, no. Oh, that's crazy. I got a different one on here. Look. Another super shorty. Right here. Wow. Yep. It's a 510 drip tip. Super is shorty. Halfmoonmods.com. Any questions about it, Brian? Uh, somebody just asked, is it acrylic? Uh... Yes, it's been confirmed by Half Moon Mods about 40 times already. It's acrylic. And the price is uh, $15.99. So what if somebody wanted to spend under $20 for a drip tip? What would you recommend for the OBS engine? 
I would recommend actually the Half Moon mods. <laughs> Uh, super short <laughs> stop. <laughs> Let's not do this tonight. We can oh, go 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is um, it acrylic, Mike? <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, have dun, you guys dun, finished dun, your dun, holiday dun, shopping or your Christmas? Sorry, Mark. Christmas shopping. Yes, yeah, Christmas shopping. No, I have not. You know what the thing is? I work in an office <gasps> where I serve many, many people from many different uh, nations and uh backgrounds so well i'm a little bit this more this is an argument that probably would go sour fast so i probably won't get into it but i'm a firm believer is you know never mind i, I will just stop right here we'll just stop. yeah thank you, yeah, thank it's, you gonna, Mark. it's gonna get thank dirty <laughs> so uh what are your, what is your choice of the week if you were to pick something that you love? Uh, we're only forty six minutes in. You're a little too early for that. Dun, 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 dun. What happened to the whole twenty sixteen thing that we were supposed to do? You didn't even tell us about it. You're the one that set the name for the show, and you never gave us a, a pre show run in or anything. Motherfucker, you told me in the beginning of the show, let's do best of twenty sixteen. I said again, and you said yeah. I said okay. This week? Nah, we we'll, we we'll do it next week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I would like to talk about real quick before we end the show, the Surgeon General report that was released. Oh, yes. That, you know what's crazy? That report was released and really the focus. Anytime you ever watch the media, you hear for the kids or you hear your safety, like you're at risk safety-wise, you know that there's some shit going on behind the scenes. And the report basically talked about the kids. Little did he know, or they probably did know, and it was just perfectly fine, that like three days after the report came out, there was going to be a new study that released that showed that there was actually a decline in kids vaping. So all this shit is just aggravating. And if you want to hear more about it, you can check out uh, ClydeBates.com. Awesome analysis. Don't you care about the kids? What about the kids? Yeah, what about the kids? What about the kids? I was a kid. When I was 12 years old, I was back in the woods stealing cigarettes from a local convenience store and smoking cigarettes. Yep. And if vaping was available, I would have done that instead, and that would have been a hell of a lot better for me. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, uh, sex is bad for kids, so let's fucking ban condoms. You know I, what I mean? It doesn't even make sense. I actually went – I remember a long time ago when I was – I think I was like 16. I went to a – drugstore to get rubbers and they actually wouldn't sell them to me because i wasn't 18 and i'm like are you fucking shitting me you should have said well i'm gonna drop my kid off here so you can fucking have daycare for him once <laughs> exactly that's what you should have told me oh if i if i knock her up i'm suing you yep yeah. i did go back home and use a ziploc baggie but still saran wrap <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this fight's not over. 2017, the battle is raging, and you guys need to definitely contact your congressman or congresswoman, talk to your local state representatives, talk to your local government officials, educate your family during the holiday season this year. It's a great time for you to share with them the truth about vaping. The more education we have out there for all the people in our lives, I mean, because they're getting bombarded every single day with lies and fucked up data. So we need... And, and the problem is you don't want to seem like a conspiracy theorist. Just talk about how vaping's impacted you in your life, how better you feel. If you have a doctor's report of lung function or uh, if you had a physical done or anything, you know, show the proof. And uh, also bring up the, um, uh, the Royal College of Physicians information. They can't deny that. That's legitimate science-based data that is firm. So, and also educate people on battery safety because of, this week's been the big, the kid fucking, but a 14-year-old kid had a mod explode and it blew a hole in his tongue. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. So that's that was what we're fucking, hearing about. That was, like, you could see his, that shit was nasty. Yeah, but guess what? There's there's nasty shit that happens all the time. You know, kids overdose and die from eating uh, laundry detergent. You know what I'm saying? I know, but the one thing that this that I will admit this community does a lot and that we shouldn't do it is we always compare shit, just like you did. To other stuff, we, we got to stop doing that. Like, oh well, we have flavored alcohol. And we have, you can't compare stuff like that because I don't know. I hate when people do that. 
But people can relate to that and say, oh, well, you're yeah. right. If there's only been nine cases of batteries exploding and causing harm, meanwhile, there's been 5,000 fucking kids eating, uh, yeah. you know, detergent. yeah, they're trying to regulate the one thing and not the other. I agree. I just hate when people, yeah. like, always bring up the comparison. Like, oh, well, the cell phones uh, we know, blow up, you know. We, do we know what this uh, kid was using? He was using a mechanical mod, I believe. <clears throat> With? Who knows what battery, who knows what, you know, if it was a hybrid or who knows if the battery was a rewrap, who knows if he had changed it. I don't know. Until manufacturers come out with some kind of safety, like device, some kind of safety feature on mech mods, it's going to continue to happen with mech mods. They're going to continue to blow up people's faces regardless. I think manufacturers need to come out like that, you know, like the fuse, the five cent fuse that we used to have back in the day. They should come out with something like that or do something because regardless it's they're going to keep blowing up people's faces there would be it would be really cool if they had a standard for batteries where even like a you know how your battery has the positive and the negative connection on the top and bottom mm-hmm. and if you put a lot of times we're seeing now is batteries in your pocket with change or uh paper clips or something in it and as you know venting in the pocket imagine if there was like a a spring-loaded safety on each side so when you put it in the mod compartment, it would actually push down and expose the contacts. But when you when you take it out, it would pop. You know what I mean? Like something that would just protect the, the contacts. That would be a big move in the right direction. Because our community wants people to be safe. We don't want people to fucking have. I don't want to have shit blow up in my pocket. I don't. You know, know, I use things like this that when I go out. There's got to be something to prevent, prevent shit like this. Yeah. Um. Did you hear about the whole, uh, I think it was Samsung or somebody that's going to start labeling their batteries not to be used on vaping devices? Probably because they don't want to have to put a, uh, what's it called, a uh, pre-market, uh, you know, the FDA approval process. They don't want to have to go through that. Well, it's that and also lawsuits. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Jonathan, it really, you say use good batteries, but you got to realize there's, so many people in the world are just going to walk into a vape shop, grab a mech mod, and even when I first started using a mech mod, I had no clue. I just used it. I mean, I was lucky I didn't blow myself up, but no matter how knowledgeable people are, no matter how many videos out there, someone's, I mean, mech mods are just dangerous. Something's going to, you know. It don't matter. I mean, I've said it already a hundred times. I've said it on this show, too, a few times already. But like I said, I was in a vape shop once, and I asked them, what do you have for beginners? And they said, noisy cricket. The original noisy cricket and an RX two hundred for beginners. I was like, "What?" So, vape shops are gonna. I mean, I'm not saying all vape shops, but there are quite a few vape shops out there that don't sell anything to anybody. So, see, you need to ask questions before they sell something to them to see what they know. You know. I thought when I first started using mech mods, I thought the point of the spring and the switch was it was supposed to collapse if it got too hot and that would prevent any kind of exploding. Like if, <clears> if your mod or battery got too hot, the the spring would collapse and you would lose connection and the, you know, therefore the mod wouldn't explode. But I guess that's not the case. I don't know. There's gotta and be also, something. You guys were also in the, uh, in the um, hangout last week when Mooch was in there talking about lipos and <laughs> the testing that he's doing on lipo batteries. And the safety issues that are with those, you know, there's a lot more how they're underrated and the information's not right and they're dangerous and people leave them plugged in next to their bed at night charging them because they don't have replaceable batteries in them. There's fucking issues coming. So, I mean, I think it's three things. I think it's people that are not knowledgeable enough to use mech mods. Mech mods are not safe enough yet for the average person. And I think the batteries you're, you're using are probably really not meant for vaping. So I think it's a little bit of everything. Yeah. Check out Mooch. Um, Mooch has awesome reports on different batteries that are safe. He's tested a whole bunch. He's always doing testing for it. And also be aware of the heat that your that your mod is producing. If your mod starts to get hot, that's a warning sign. Stop fucking vaping. You know, if you have a tube mech in your hand and you're fucking taking a pull on it and it starts getting warm, stop. Yeah, if you have to go that low, get it regulated, uh, regulated by it. Also, you can get like a fireproof bag that you can charge your mods in. So if it did, uh, you know, have a problem at nighttime, I recommend charging it during the day. But I know it's simple for a lot of people that work when they come home to just charge it at night. 
Yeah, but who wants right. to put their mod into a bag and charge it? I mean, that's just... Or at least put it in a place that if it did start a fire, it wouldn't fucking burn your house down or light your bed on fire. You know what I mean? The difference, though, is that when we smoked, there could be people that you'd see in news stories of somebody fell asleep with a cigarette in bed and lit their bed on fire. There was never discussion about what happened, how it happened, and how we can stop it from happening. I think the community cares about safety. We all want each other to vape safe. And there's going to be solutions as long as we're allowed. But the problem is, if you have a shitty battery that has a problem, you're not even allowed past August 8th to even come out with a revised battery. You can't even fix the problems that were that are happening. You're not allowed to release updated products for safety revisions. That's wrong. You know? So. I don't know. I would like to see... I don't, I don't know. These companies just don't have the money to invest in technology to... Invent something for the they're not allowed mods? to do it. Well, yeah, they're not allowed to do it, but it would be nice to see something. An another thing that I've noticed is uh, a lot of vape shops. Their uh, their main batteries that they sell are all rewraps. Yep. And they see it says, "Oh, thirty five amps, forty amps," and they're like, "Oh, this is going to be safe on a mech." Meanwhile, there's no no such thing as a thirty five or forty amp battery. Yeah, and they might not even know what an ohms calculator is or what safe vaping levels are. The shop owner doesn't even know what a rewrap battery is. They just get it from their distributor and trust what they say. Yeah. You know, we need to educate people. But, I mean, I can, under I mean, I can see why the FDA wants to regulate shit because of all this shit we just talked about right here. Rewrap batteries and all this other shit, like, floating around in vape shops. Like, there's nothing to say, you know, like... You don't have to be experienced to work at a vape shop. Anybody can walk in and buy a mech mod. There's no... Nothing in place. Yeah, but I, I, I agree. But I also think that, like, I can go out and I can buy a can of uh, a, fl a flammable fucking spray. There right? you go comparing again, see? <laughs> but you have to compare, Mark, because there's common sense shit that we all know and agree on. And when it comes to, for some reason, vaping, common sense goes out the window and people aren't allowed to talk about it. You know? But well, you could go buy a gas can, fill it up with gasoline at a gas station without the gas station guy warning you not to light a cigarette near it. And you could fucking blow up, you know, the gas station. And there might be a little warning that nobody reads on the gas uh, pump or something. But there's all kinds of w things that can go wrong in your life. That's why we have parents. That's why we have, you know, community members and stores and experts. And you know what I mean? Yeah, but I think, I don't know, batteries and mods require a little bit more knowledge to understand how they work and to know if they're not going to blow up on you. I think if we looked statistically at how many batteries are in the world and how many people have vaped them and how many actual true events have happened that have caused personal injury. I would imagine that the statistic would be incredibly low compared to the amount that are out there people using. Well, the majority of the issues is uh, people putting uh, a battery with no um, case or rubber case in their, bag or purse. In, their pocket, in their pockets, purse or whatever, and with loose change or keys in there. Or they'll put the battery in there, and then they'll take their mod, put their mod in that same pocket, and short it. Yep. Now, there's stuff like that that's going on. That's a lot of these videos where you see of that happening. That's basically batteries that are just placed inside their uh, – that are venting, not the mod itself. And then the media, what are they calling? They're calling the actual battery a vaping device. And well, so is the FDA. They're calling, they're calling this of a uh, device, the media, misinforming people. Well, it's actually, it's not a device. It's a fucking battery. But once again, it's like people, uh, how can I put this? It's like, you know, like when you have a junk drawer at home, you look in the junk drawer, what's in there? There's like AA batteries rolling around and AAA batteries. So people just assume, okay, it's a battery. I can just toss it in my purse. You know, that's the problem. These people are Shit, not knowledgeable. Last, last week I was on my couch telling my wife about, about the battery issues that we were having. And she goes, really? That can happen? And I swear to God, I went out to her purse, and she had two of my uh, VTC 5As just loose in her purse. Yeah. My wife. No. So it's an issue. Once again, I, yeah. I think these batteries, I think the, the we need a better battery suited for vaping. Maybe there should be, you know, I don't necessarily disagree that there should be maybe uh, uh, rules to have the wraps that are on batteries should just have a warning that says do not place this battery anywhere except in a, in a protective case when it's not being used. I'll tell you something, though. The way you're going to solve a lot of these issues, I mean, it's fucked up. And people don't want to hear this, but I'm going to say it. 
is uh, eliminate mech mods from in existence. That's number one. Number two is eliminate 18650 batteries from being used in, in vaping devices. And all devices should have uh, basically either, you know, pre-installed batteries they come with. That's the only way you're going to stop the majority of this. Or, you know, because people don't want to get educated. People just do what they want to want want to do, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, because when when you're smoking... I know people don't want to hear that. You want to walk into a vape shop. You don't want to hear... You don't want to have to learn about shit. You want to just want to buy a mod that looks cool. You want to get a bottle of liquid. You want to walk out and you want to vape. You don't want to have to learn about anything. Like, if you have to learn about it, most people are going to say, you know what, screw this, I'm going to go back to smoke. I'm not going to sit here and learn about batteries and shit. Screw that. I said that when I first started vaping. Yeah, so, I mean... I get it. I mean, you would think with an industry that apparently makes millions and millions of dollars, we can afford to maybe come out with some batteries or something, but apparently not. Well, my, you know, somebody said, doesn't your wife watch the show? And the answer is, well, only when she wants to troll me or when she wants to see Mike. Um, She doesn't watch the show because she can care less about the community or building or she just likes to vape her juice and her simple mod and is not she's not about the hobby of it which is a lot of people but i mean i guarantee you if you look in anyone's any like woman's purse or anybody's like junk drawer at home you'll find like a double a battery or triple a battery laying around in there and they just treat the eight you know just like a regular battery i got batteries laying all over the place probably touching together how would you know and if you didn't, I've never you know, had one blow up on me, but I, I, you know. I would love to find out the percentage of people that even know YouTube exists for vaping. That's educate. It. You know what I mean? It's small, small, small percentage of the vape. The only time they'll find out is after they have bought a device and they decide, you know what? Let me Google this and see, like, for example, let's say you go into a vape shop and you just bought this set up here and they charged you, I don't know, 200 bucks. Now you're vaping, you get home, and you think to yourself, you know what, I wonder how much these are selling in other places. I just paid 200 for it. I'll go online, Google it. Then they'll see in Google videos for YouTube, and that's how they actually find out about after they've already bought devices and used it. You know? I think yep. that's how a lot of people are finding out. That's how I found out. Yep. Uh, yeah. See when what? I first started vaping. I'll never forget. I came, I came home with my first Mac mod. I knew nothing about battery safety, nothing about anything. I actually ordered it on the internet. I had like E-Fest purples and who knows what they were. I remember putting like some RDA that I shittily built. There could have been le- like the legs sticking and touching, the, you know, short and hard shorting and stuff. I remember screwing it on the, the uh, what was that one mod? The nine something. It was a Mac mod tube Mac. We're not no? mod. I think it was the four nine or something. Anyway, yeah. it, it basically was a hybrid and it, the top didn't come off and it didn't split in the middle. So you could only put the batteries in one way and there was no way to get them out easily. I remember firing it and all of a sudden it just got fucking instantly like super red hot. And I remember throwing it across the basement and then, psh, you know, it vented. And I was like, holy shit. Like I could have been injured. Yeah. I didn't know about any of that. You know, so I'm saying we need to have something to prevent these devices from, or you can give it to just an average person and they still won't be able to blow themselves up. Right. So, and, I, and I'm a grown man. I'm an adult. It was my responsibility, but I had no education about it. I didn't even know there was a possibility for harm. Not everybody hangs out on YouTube. And now, if I go buy a gun and have it delivered to my house, then not that you can, but if I could, and I didn't know how to check the safety and I didn't know how to load the, the ammunition and I didn't know you couldn't put the ammunition near heat and I didn't know how to, you know, I could shoot myself in the fucking face, maybe. But this is where people that own vape shops, a lot of people open up a vape shop and they find out about vaping. Not from YouTube, they just find out about it and say, oh. And they don't they don't even vape. They'll open up a shop and then they'll just sell anything to anybody. You know? Yep. They need to educate themselves. They need to, they're the ones that need to, vape shop owners need to be watching YouTube videos and educating themselves, seeing what's the new stuff coming out. Uh, batteries, all everything, and this way they could relay that information to their customers. Yeah, but as Two Vape Dex just said in the comments, he said shops can't tell customers what to do anymore. They could. You can still tell. You just can't. I think you can't physically uh, touch. Touch. You could talk. Yep. And, I mean, there's oh. not even warnings on batteries, right? I've never seen any warnings on battery wrappers. Because the batteries aren't for vaping. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Good point. 
all the batteries that we're using are for uh they're for uh what do you call it, for cars cars use laptops, them right electric laptops, cars uh, um what do you call it? cordless drills what's it gonna uh, what else? flashlights whatever so much. laptops laptops cars all those electric cars now use batteries yeah yeah so anyway this is just food for thought this is not a uh, solution we're having tonight. It's just a discussion. But as we go into next year, as we try to make vaping safer, we need to continue educating each other and ourselves about it. And uh, vape safe. Educate. Educate. Yeah, trust a lot of the things that we're talking about right now. The FDA is going to know about this stuff. I'm sure they're aware or someone that's researching into uh, vaping is telling them. And this is stuff that they're going to be the ones that are going to ban certain items or whatever you know if vaping is gonna continue there's gonna be a lot of stuff that they're gonna change the only way you're gonna buy stuff is uh if you want something it'll be underground black market we should have more regulation right so you should be you should have to get a license before you can buy a mac in a vape shop Pass a test. See, but people are not going to want to do all that. They're going to say, "I got to get a license and pass." I a know. Test. You either you either underregulate and let the people be responsible for their own outcomes, and you have people that get hurt, and then the people learn and by that. If they won't allow a license or anything for a Mac, you crazy? No way. There's got to be so much safety built into a device that it won't explode. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it literally. Yeah. I'm Educate. Just saying, yeah. Masturbate. Regulate. Translate. All right, guys. Well, it's <laughs> eleven thirteen. No second freak out. Uh, someone asked, "What batteries are best for DNA one sixty six? Sony VTC five A's." Yep, I think those are the best. Fluctuate, masturbate. Hell yeah! All right, no means no, Mark. Are we out? Um, best of the week? Do you want to do best of the week? Sure, why not? Mm. Go ahead, Mark. Best of the week. Uh, did I say the apocalypse was the best last week? I think it might have. I don't remember. Um, I don't remember what... Ah, uh, shit. I don't remember last week, so... The Apocalypse and the Mod Father RTA are going to be the best for this week. E Liquid. This jelly shit I bought, man. I got to find this shit online. This shit's good. It is a uh, jelly on buttery toast. Is that KY or? KY, yeah. You can actually rub it around your anus. Nice. And it actually helps you. Uh, makes, makes you go poo poo. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, those are going to be my my products of the week. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. How about you, Mike? This RDA right here, the Cyclone or Cyclone from Fumitech, the 22. I've been enjoying this one a lot. That RDA right there. Uh, device that I've been enjoying this week. Uh, I don't know. I really... I mean, I've been using the Therion a lot. Well, not this one here specifically, but the Therion in general. I've been using it a lot. Yeah. I'm going to go with the uh, the Kennedy 25 two-post with the uh, Noisy Cricket version, too. I've been loving this setup right here. It's been an awesome setup. There you go. I'm best of the week. And now our word from I, our iJoy sponsor, Mr. Uh, Asian Santa Claus. He's depressed right now, I think. Talk to him. Ch show him on the doll where he touched you. Where did he touch you? Down there? Right here? Ooh. Rub this little happy button. Want to vape? Here you go. Is that pudding underneath his mustache, or what, what, what is that? That's semen. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right, no means no. Let's end the show. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Same vape time, same vape channel. Next Thursday night, 10 p.m. Don't forget to vote. Don't forget to comment below. Life is a cloud. <laughs> Win the giveaway for the two vape decks RDA for twovapedex.com. 
subscribe to Vape and Fagan channel, Mike Vape's channel, the Vapor Chronicles channel, Not Another Vape Show, Heavy Metal Vapor, uh, fucking DJ LSB Vapes. Uh, the list goes on and on. There you go, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Mike, I got Mark. I got Mark a Christmas present. <laughs> Where did you get him? It's gonna be a secret, but he'll get it soon. I got him a big black dildo. Woo! I got him a date with this guy. He's. There, I found this guy that's a fan of Fagan <laughs> metal. And um, so speaking of Fagan. There's going to be new uh, Vape and Fagan t-shirts. Oh, Throwbacks. This is Mark Fagan's high school photo. And this is a new t-shirt we're having made with the uh, <laughs> periodic table elements. There you go. Mark, you got some nice curls going. Look at that hair. Yeah, so that's actually a t-shirt. It's going to be released by Fagan Industries very, very soon. And, uh, yeah. Just touch the tip. And then also we have... This is a guy that that's going to be modeling Mark's shirt. This is going to be a new release vaping swag shirt from one of Mark's models. So that's a Fagan Industries model with the Vagan, Vaping Fagan Bear t-shirt. <laughs> huge fan. He likes to roll around in the sack. And uh, no means no. Let's end the show. Thank you. Wrong camera, Mark. Hold on. He's switching off. This is Mark! Hi, uh, Victoria. Hello. <laughs> this is Brian. What the hell? Let's <laughs> end the show. Thank right, you. Bye. <laughs> bye, everybody. Come for the. Bye.